Welcome back to the Pump YouTube channel. As a part of our Everything You Need to Know Before Pre-Med series, we are super excited to help prospective medical professionals gain the insight they need when making program selections and choosing the right path for their own medical journey. Centered in the heart of Kingston, Ontario, today we will be diving deep into Queen's University's Health Sciences program. With the program being fairly new, it still boasts a stellar track record in developing undergraduate students for the medical field. Regardless of it being one of Canada's newer programs, Queen's Health Sciences is considered to be one of the hardest programs to get into across all of Canada, putting up a 4.2% acceptance rate. Nonetheless, in today's video, we are going to take a quick deep dive into the program as a whole, from admission requirements to what the program entails, to even what students in the program have to say about it. So let's strap in and jump straight into the admission requirements for Queen's University's Health Sciences program. To understand Queen's Bachelor's of Health Sciences program, we must first consider the overall landscape of applying to the university, then delve into some of the provincial requirements. To begin, the Health Sciences program is a direct entry program, meaning it requires an 80 percent minimum mark in your 12th grade language course, which can be either English or French depending on your school's language of instruction. Other courses that are required from Ontario students applying into the program include a grade 12 biology, chemistry, any math course, plus two additional university or mixed level courses. In all of these courses, a minimum of 80% is required. However, altogether, the minimum cumulative average of 75%, including the prerequisites, is required for admission consideration. Yet, even with that being the minimum, it is imperative to understand that the acceptance into the on-campus program will be very competitive. It is anticipated from the Queen's Admission Committee that the admission average will be over 90% for the on-campus Bachelor of Health Sciences program. However, to get a more accurate estimate, the pump team suggests aiming for an average closer to 95% or higher to be much more competitive for the program. At the general level, students from Manitoba need five academic courses, including an English focus course at the 40s level. Here are the acceptable academic prerequisites for Manitoban students. For students applying from British Columbia, English Studies 12 with a minimum grade of 80%, Anatomy and Physiology 12, Chemistry 12, plus one of the Pre-Calculus 12, Calculus 12, or Foundations of Math 12, are required. Here are the acceptable academic prerequisites for BC students. Finally, for students applying from Alberta, five academic courses number 30 or 31, including English, are required. Specifically, English with a minimum grade of 80%, biology, chemistry, one of mathematics, 30 to 1, 30 to 2, or 31, plus one additional academic 30 or 31 level course are requirements. And here are the acceptable academic prerequisites for Albertan students. With all of those course requirements, requirements in mind, it should be also noted that a supplementary application is required for admission to the on-campus Bachelor of Health Sciences program. This supplementary application becomes available on the Queen's Admission Portal after submitting your transcript-based application. Switching gears to the cost of tuition, tuition like at many other Canadian universities is completely dependent on your application type, i.e. are you in province, out of province, or an international student. All of these calculations exclude any ancillary fees which must be paid for attending courses on campus. For Ontario residents, they can expect themselves to pay a total of 3.1k per term, totaling to 6.2k in a given two semester academic year. On the other hand, domestic students who are coming out of the province can expect to pay 3.6k per term, which totals to 7.2k per academic year. Finally, international students are expected to pay 17,000 per term, which sums up to a grand total of 34,000 per year. Now, to fully understand the scope of the program, let's take a look at the health sciences curriculum and what the first year of courses look like. To summarize the goal of this program, the Bachelor of Health Sciences curriculum equips students with in-depth knowledge and foundational theories needed to understand how the human body functions in both health and disease. It also emphasizes the significant impact that both physical and social environments have on health outcomes. With that being in mind, in your first year, 18 credits worth of courses are required to be spread across slash taken during both the fall and winter semesters. These courses include Anatomy of the Human Body, Social and Physical Determinants of Health and Disease, Introduction to Statistics for Health Sciences, History and Philosophy of Health and Healthcare, Introductory Pharmacology, and Human Cell Physiology. In addition to these core courses, six credit worth of courses must be taken from the following list of optional courses to add on to your schedule.
Hello everyone, my name is Albert and I'm going into my second year of health sciences at Queen's and today I'll just be talking about a little bit about Queen's Health Science. Um, so just to start off, Queen's Health Science, it's a lot of interdisciplinary learning. So essentially from day one, you're not just memorizing facts, it'll be a lot of um, active engagement as well as critical thinking and problem solving. Um, I think it was really helpful for me because in a lot of our first year courses, um, it's a lot of hands-on learning, for example, in anatomy. Um, when we got to go into the cadaver labs, um, human physiology, there was a lot of group work and group discussion. So it's a lot of um, collaboration. And then we also got to learn um, social and physical determinants of health and the history and philosophy of health and healthcare. Um, so this kind of showed us how environment, social status and policy affects health. Um, so I found that to be really interesting. And then another cool feature about Queen's Health Science is it's a lot of active learning. So you'll be doing a lot of modules in your own time. And then when you go into class, you'll be doing a lot of kind of like case studies, problems and group discussions. So it's not just like the typical lecture style. Um, I think overall Queen's Health Science is a very dynamic environment. It does take getting used to, I think, with the modules and keeping up with it, but it's definitely an incredible place to start, especially if you want to go into medicine or anything health related. So I'm very excited to see where it will take you and I look forward to seeing some of you at Queen's. Thanks for watching. Taking a look at some of the opportunities, Queen's is known for its multitude of scholarship opportunities as well as its vast amount of hands-on research experience for students to partake in. To begin, the first scholarship we'll be talking about is the Queen's Chancellor Scholarship. Valued at a total of $48,000, Queen's offers 50 Chancellor Scholarships to students chosen on the basis of nomination by high school principals and submission of a detailed application form. Requirements for this major admission award is that the students must be entering their first first year of any undergraduate program at Queen's to qualify for a Chancellor Scholarship, and students in their second year of CICEP are also eligible to apply. Nominees must showcase superior academic ability with an average above 90%, whilst also demonstrating the skill of creative and original thinking with a submitted piece of art slash poetry coupled alongside a written application detailing their proven leadership qualities. Another major opportunity offered by Queen's is the Q-Arms program. For those who don't speak acronyms, QARMS stands for Queen's University's Accelerated Route to Medical School and is a program exclusively for Black identified and Indigenous Canadians and permanent residents. It's a highly prestigious and competitive program that offers 10 students across the country the opportunity to enter Queen's University's medical school after only two years of undergraduate study. Moving away from the scholarships, let's dive into all the research opportunities offered by Queen's. Beginning with opportunities found at the heart of of Queens, one of the most popular pathways for undergrad students to gain research experience is through the Undergraduate Student Summer Research Fellowships. The USSRF offers hands-on learning experiences for students currently pursuing a bachelor's degree. Participants can choose to complete the program at either Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario or at Bader College in the United Kingdom. Another massive research opportunity is Queen's University's internship program, QUIP. QUIP offers second and third year students a 12 to 16 month paid work experience under professional supervision. This opportunity allows students to apply their academic knowledge while exploring different practices and technologies. The program is available to both domestic and international students in the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science, Faculty of Arts and Science, and the Faculty of Health Sciences. On the other hand, the Summer Work Experience Program, SWEP, offers undergraduate students a challenging and rewarding summer work experience. To qualify students must be enrolled in their first full-time Queen's undergraduate degree program and plan to return to the same program in the fall. Selection of candidates and job offers are managed by departments, faculty members, and sponsor organization. The positions are typically full-time, lasting up to 16 weeks between May 1st and August 31st, with an hourly wage of $17 plus vacation pay. Finally, internally, the university also offers the NSERC USRA opportunities like all the other Canadian 
Canadian universities. Externally, Queen's works with MyTax, an organization that supports collaboration between business and not-for-profit sectors and research institutions, driving collaboration and innovation at home and abroad through paid internships and student mobility opportunities. The Accelerate program provides the opportunity for students to hold paid research internships at companies interested in conducting research with university researchers. To apply, students must have a faculty supervisor interested in supporting the project. Globalink is a program that provides student mobility opportunities in collaboration with international researchers. For the Globalink Research Award, students with a supervisor at Queen's may be funded to travel for work with a faculty supervisor at an international institution. Queen's students may also travel to Germany with the RISE Globalink program for a 10 to 12 week project. To wrap up, some final opportunities offered by Queen's includes the Vice Principal Research Undergraduate Prize, which is awarded on the basis of research contributions at Queen's University to students enrolled in an undergraduate degree program. The Vice Principal Research Undergraduate Prize will award $1,000 each to the recipients of the top two prizes at the Inquiry at Queen's Conference. Applicants are to submit a research proposal to the conference held every March and present their work at this conference. In terms of research, I had the opportunity to work in two different research areas. So the first one was through a volunteer experience. I worked at a neuroimmunological lab in my third year doing wet lab activities such as genotyping. And in my fourth year that summer, I worked as a research intern. And then through my fourth year thesis project, I continued working with the same PI. This was doing more clinical research, specifically looking at the feasibility of a prehabilitation program within the colorectal cancer unit. So both of these experiences I was able to gain through cold emailing. So Queen's offers many different areas of research as well as whether it's wet lab, clinical labs, there's the hospital as well as different faculties as well that you can try to get connected with to gain a research experience or position. Um, finally, we also have the SWEP program, which you can apply for in February and work with the PI for the four months of summer, as well as NSERC and the thesis projects, as I mentioned. Shifting over to the campus life offered by Queen's, Queen's University offers a vibrant campus life where students can engage in various activities, including joining one of over 300 clubs, participating in intramurals and varsity sports, and volunteering in one of the fantastic opportunities in the tight-knit university and greater city community. The university also provides extensive support services such as career and internship opportunities, wellness resources, and academic assistance. Furthermore, living in Kingston adds to the experience. With its blend of modern conveniences and a welcoming small town atmosphere, allows students to really step out of their shell and find a new home at their university. Hey guys, my name is Claire and I'm going into my third year of the Health Sciences program at Queen's University. In terms of campus life, I find that there are so many different opportunities, whether it's a new club, a specific intramural league, or a conference on campus that you want to attend, so there's really something that meets everybody's interests. Um, how the clubs work is that usually they'll hire around two first year interns and then they'll also have general member positions open to everybody throughout the year. Um, in terms of the campus itself, it's pretty isolated from the rest of Kingston. So whenever you're going outside on campus from residents, or if you're just on campus in general, you're always surrounded by other students. So I found that this was a good way to transition from high school to university life. Um, that being said, you're also only like a five minute walk from downtown or getting to the water um, on Lake Ontario. So definitely recommend going to Queens. We hope you gained valuable insights into the application process for Queen's Health Sciences program. With its prestige and short history in producing numerous medical professionals through its approach at interdisciplinary learning, it has become recognized as one of Canada's top pre-med programs. On behalf of the Pump team, we wish you the best of luck with your application. If you have any questions about this program or other Canadian pre-med programs, feel free to join our undergraduate admissions Discord server, which is pinned in the comments, as well as on our official website and Instagram page. Page. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. We hope to see you in our next video.